On this week's show, we head back to the RV industry open house in Elkhart, Indiana, and check out what's hot for 2019. We start over at the Winnebago Display, where John DePietro and Bob Zagani check out a couple of new offerings from the Big W. Next, we'll join Jeff Johnston at Forest River, where he takes a look at the newest Nobo Edition. Later, we head back up the highway and check out an exciting new truck camper that caught Jeff's attention. These stories and more on this week's Rolling On TV. Rolling On TV is brought to you by Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. Closed and Spanish captioning, where available, is sponsored by Jayco. At Jayco, we have been making family dreams come true since 1968. Hey, John. Welcome to Winnebago. What a great day. Bob, we're here at the Big W, and let me tell you, I have never seen as much excitement as I see here at this Winnebago display it, here. It, it's all smiling faces, going places, uh, new units. They've done a great job this year, uh, bring out five different products here at the open house. Um, you know, one of the things that's exciting is you, kind of behind us is the Vita and the Porto Class C motorhomes built on the Mercedes chassis. Well, exactly. You know, I own a Class right. C, and uh, when Winnebago came out with this, they wanted to have it on a Mercedes chassis because of the dependability of it. And I know, you know, we're gonna get back into that in a minute, but let's talk about all the other new items that are coming out because uh, I, I wanna spend some time in that, in that Vita. Yeah, we're gonna show you the new products. Uh, one of them is the Micro Mini fifth wheel, which has got a manufacturing suggested list price of $30,000. Wait, 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 you mean 300,000? Nope, we took the extra zero <laughs> off. It's only $30,000. 30, $30, <laughs> a, fifth, a fifth wheel, like a lightweight fifth wheel that could be towed by a Tacoma or a Chevy Colorado or the new Ford Rangers. Just going to be an unbelievable hit in the marketplace. You know, I sat in that with you a little bit earlier, and I was amazed at the spaciousness of it at a price tag that is anything but what you'd expect. Oh, it, it'll, it'll startle the people. And also, I'm really excited they brought back the Winnebago Adventure, a Class C motorhome. Always one of the very popular ones in the Winnebago lineup. Completely redesigned inside and outside, and that's going to be a great yep. product. That Class A Adventurer is interesting because my sister had one about 10 or 12 years ago. The Adventurer name is really known for quality, and um, now there's a new one out, and the color schemes that we saw out there were really interesting. It's not you're just, you know, you're white with a, with a decal on it. Right. There's really cool color schemes on that. Yep, and they brought back the Spider uh, Toy Hauler fifth wheel, which is also another exciting product in their lineup. So they filled out the entire product lineup. When you look at Winnebago now, it's from the drop all the way up to the Horizon $500,000 diesel pusher. Yep. Everything in between. So anybody that wants to have an RV, can find what they want in a Winnebago. And yep. we'll show you a lot of that here today. All right, so John, as you can see, there's, there's so much to talk about at Winnebago, but we don't want to talk about it. We want to, we want to see it and showcase. So I think I want to go see the Micro Mini fifth wheel. And I'm going back to the Vita in Porto. All right, we'll see you, see later, you later. Goodbye. Ladies and gentlemen, for the past 60 years, when you heard the name Winnebago, you thought quality. Well, let me tell you one thing. Winnebago has just come out with several new models, and one that I want to talk to you about today is the Vita in the Porto. And when they came out with this, one of the things that they wanted to keep in mind was people were loving the Sprinter-based Class Cs, the View and Navion, that have been popular for the past 14 or 15 years. So Winnebago's responsibility was to come up with a new product but have it on a Sprinter chassis. So what they've come up with is the Vita in the Porto. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind. One of the things that Winnebago does better than any other manufacturer that I've been able to find out is that they listen to their owners. So whenever there's a Winnebago gathering, they do surveys with Winnebago owners to find out what they like about their unit or what they'd like to see added if they were to buy another product. And here are a couple interesting points that are included in this brand new Vita in Porto motorhome. So, with microwaves, many people were upset that they had to reach so high up to take out hot products from a microwave. And some people were, were fearful of, of burning their hands or arms. So what Winnebago did 
in the Vito in Porto is put it below the stove. So now it's down below, you can just press a button, open it, and you can see in a second that the food is either ready or not ready. So the microwave was very interesting. So that took care of the shorter people, but they also took care of the tall people too, because when, they've put, when they put their dinette down into a bed for additional seating, many times, if you're over six feet or six feet two, it was a little bit too short, so people had to squinch up in order to sleep. But Winnebago thought of that. Their design engineers were really interesting. They've got this program here where you take out a little bit of, um, a little bit of padding and you see that now you've got an extra eight to 10 inches for leg room. Thought it was pretty interesting. Now, the other thing Winnebago found out at their rallies is that people travel with pets more than ever before. So without having to take the dog for a walk at six o'clock in the morning, right here on the edge of the doorstep, you can hook your dog and the dog can either stay outside for a period of time or cat, I guess if cats do that as well. And um, you know, the dog walking is taken care of. But also if you've got a bicycle and need to chain it, there's a spot right here where you can chain it. You're not chaining it to a door. So you're chaining the dog down there. So very interesting points. The other thing is, People like watching television. So whether they're watching something on their favorite internet channel or through their connected um, devices, this new TV swings out and behind the TV, which was tubes and other stuff in previous years, is the capability for storage. But if you look closely, it's not just storage, but it is adjustable storage. So you can take the shelves and make them taller, or smaller depending upon what you want to put in there. Also, if you look closely up in the top behind the TV cabinet, there is a special area that allows you to connect to devices that you may install on your roof, such as Wi-Fi extenders or additional antennas if you need that. Regarding power, many times we have to plug our devices in. Even though people say, you know, they go RVing to get away from it all, they still have to have their phones, they still have to have several other devices. So at each point that there's a regular power plug, there's also an AC plug-in and also a spot where you can plug in your USB ports to charge phones and to charge iPads and to charge Amazon Fires. So I think when you look around and you look up on the roof, you'll see uh, solar panels that are already installed. The other thing is that people have a capacity to want to do is to take more stuff than they need them. So in this particular model that we're showing here, there's extensive outdoor storage. So also another thing is the bathroom and the access for the bathroom. When the slide is in, they've put these special doors together so you still have access to the bathroom while the slide is in. And some units feature a full wall slide with a full size bed. That's right, folks, a full-size bed that actually gives you walk-around capability on both sides. So as you get in your Sprinter van, as you get in your Vita, and as you get into your portal that are made by Winnebago, one of the things that you need to keep in mind is that these were designed with you, the RVer, in mind. Someone once said, the camping doesn't really start until the RV awning comes out. Whoever said that really knew what they were talking about. Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. For more information, visit our website at carefreeofcolorado.com. Exploration. It affirms that we are alive, demands that we are present. So let's put our work lives on pause, ramble out into the world, and share the journey with the ones we love. For more information, visit LanceCamper.com. Hey, Bob Zagami here with Rolling On TV, and we are with Winnebago, and we're going to talk to you about a brand new product that Winnebago has out. 
But you know, the legacy of Winnebago over 50 years, actually coming close to 60 years in the RV industry, leading manufacturer of motorhomes and trailers. One of the things we want to talk about today is the trailer, the low fifth wheel trailer, lightweight fifth wheel, a micro mini. When we say lightweight, this particular one comes in about 5,800 pounds. And that's significant because if you see on the front of that, it's being towed by a Chevy Colorado, but it could be towed by a Tacoma or the new Ford Ranger that's coming out. So lightweight vehicles, a lot of people talk about half ton towables, but those can be six, seven, eight thousand pounds. You're talking about less than 6,000 pounds on a small truck, so you don't have to buy another tow vehicle when you buy the Micro Mini fifth wheel. Now, it's, it's cleverly designed. It's a torsion bar suspension on it. Uh, it's only seven feet wide. That's important for the sense that you don't have to buy accessory mirrors for your truck or your tow vehicle. So you just use the standard mirrors that you have on it. It's gonna be five different layouts. This, this particular layout has a rear kitchen full kitchen. And before you get to the kitchen, one of my favorite items on RVs these days is they finally make sturdy steps. This is called solid step. You do not shake, you do not waver. If you're 200 pounds, you don't bounce up and down on the step. That's the start of the vacation. So it's a real solid step going into a fully functional kitchen, full-size refrigerator, lots of cabinet. The other thing that they built into this that from a consumer standpoint is terrific is a lot of windows. There are windows everywhere. There are three windows just in the dinette alone. And the dinette, of course, drops down to another bed, as does the jackknife sofa in the living room. In the middle, we have a bathroom, full shower, toilet, and sink that leads into a front over the cab bedroom. Full queen size bed, uh, walk around bed. You got aisles on both sides. You got cabinetry on both sides. You got electrical outlets for your USB ports, your, your jacks and all of your devices that are in there. And that's in the package up on the front over the cab. So when we talk about a lightweight fifth wheel, this is gonna generate a whole new class of product for Winnebago. What's really exciting about it, and I don't know how they did it, but they know what they're doing. They've proven that for over 60 years. This travel, this fifth wheel is coming in with a suggested list price of about $30,000, not $300,000, $30,000 suggested list price. This is gonna create an entirely different market for people who may have thought about travel trailers, but they have a pickup truck. This is gonna be an exciting product for what they have done with this particular coach. So what you, when you see, it's called a micro mini, it's available in different colors that they have it and you've got all your amenities on the inside. So from Winnebago, from Rolling on TV, think about the Micro Mini fifth wheel lightweight tow vehicle. At Jayco, we're a lot more than just an RV manufacturer. We're all about family. And we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. To see our complete product line and find your nearest Jayco dealer, visit us online at Jayco.com or just log on to RollingOnTV.com. Simply put, Thetford's AquaCam has outsold all its competitors combined because it's the strongest holding tank deodorant available. It provides the strongest odor control around the clock in all temperatures and conditions. It quickly liquefies waste and tissue and is 100% biodegradable. AquaCam, the industry standard for 50 years. For more information, visit Thetford.com. AquaCam, another great product from Thetford. We're at the Forest River facility looking at some really great new products. Here's the new R-Pod. This is their 10th year anniversary edition and we'll talk about that later. But up here is something that's revolutionary in the business, more or less. Hey, Cody, what do we got going on here? Howdy, Jeff. We've got the Nobo Nest here. Oh, on top okay. Of our Nobo 10.6. Okay, now we're we're familiar with your Nobo trailers that were introduced a couple of years ago, I guess. Last and, year, uh, yes, and, sir. and what what makes this one new? Well, what makes the Nobo 10.6 a little special is the fact that it can be towed by a vehicle 
a smaller tow vehicle considering the unit only weighs about 2,000 pounds. Okay. Um, and this year we've just debuted the Nobo Nest, which allows two additional people to camp in a unit this size. Okay, and what, uh, what is it that makes the trailer itself different than the previous Nobos? Well, the, the thing that sets this Nobo apart, of course, is uh, the rooftop tent itself. Oh, okay. um, last year when we debuted the 10.6, um, you know, it was, uh, it was something that people were really excited about because they can carry their goods inside the unit, unload them when they get to the campsite, and be able to camp inside. Little bitty miniature toy hauler, in other words. Absolutely. That's okay. exactly what it is. And this, this rooftop facility here, uh, what did you call this? The Nest? The Nobo Nest. The Nobo right. Nest. Okay. And what's, uh, uh, there's a lot of these fold-down tents sort of systems on the market. And what, what is it that makes this one really work? I mean, uh, how do, or how does it work? Well, the thing that makes this one really special is the fact that it's so easy to use. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a lightweight tent and it fits on top of our integrated Rhino Rack roof system. Um, with that being said, it, it allows, as we mentioned, two extra people to camp in the unit. It's got a 500 pound weight capacity and it can be set up and torn down in a matter of seconds. Oh, okay. Can you demonstrate that? Is it is it ready to do that? I would love to. Okay. I would love well, to. So you've got this really nice rain fly on the outside uh, that's in inclement weather. A nice piece for an awful lot of the country. That rain fly comes right down and it's as easy as lifting up the ladder. Wow. And you're ready to travel. The ladder slides right in. Hmm. There's okay. a cover for the Nobo yeah. Nest and essentially oh, after that, you're ready to ready to hit the road. Wow, well that's really cool. And this, this doesn't add much weight, I suppose, to the whole thing. No, no, mm. the, the nest itself weighs 150 pounds. Wow. Uh, it supports two people of any size, mm -hmm. um, and it's a great addition to uh, an already exciting and unique product. And what's, what's in the back here? I mean, uh, what's the, 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 the points here on the back of the trailer? This is really cool. So. What we have here is, uh, of course, we're displaying it with a, a full-size ATV. Mm -hmm. You've got over 50 inches here, Jeff, of interior storage space and 82-inch depth. Mm -hmm. So really, you could haul dirt bikes, small motorcycles, mm -hmm. um, any kind of gear. Uh, our focus is to, to deliver the most versatile small travel trailer on the market. Okay, and then once you take the, the gear out, uh, is it still possible to have the uh, the pad that's available in the other one that you can lay out so people can sleep in here? That's a great question. So once you, uh, the, the unit's designed, once you get to your campsite, you can unload your gear, and then from that point you've got uh, a full-size queen bed, which is also really unique and cool, a 60 by 82 queen bed, as yeah. well as a setup for uh, a dinette. So in inclement weather, you can hang out inside the unit. Oh, okay. And oh, I'd love to show you that. Actually, we have one set up as the dinette in the next unit. Same oh, okay. unit, just uh, with the dinette inside. And this just is like any other uh, toy hauler, door folds up, seals up, and it's good? Absolutely. Yeah. This yeah. is a, a heavy-duty ramp door mm -hmm. that folds up just like a normal toy hauler would, and within minutes, you're, uh, you're good to go. Okay, and I see it's got an air conditioner. I don't know what size that air conditioner is, but in a little tiny box like this, that's got to be refrigerator quality, more it, or less. It's plenty of cooling power for a unit this size. You know, yeah. one of the things that really sets a Nobo apart is the fact that although we're building small units, uh, we're building units that have the same creature comforts as full-size RVs. So things like the air conditioner, which is a 13.5 BTU oh boy. Wow. AC, and um, you know, other things like the, the fresh water holding tank capacity. You still have 30 gallons of fresh water in a unit this small is unheard of. Oh, wow. And of course, standing here on a sunny day, we can't help but appreciate this awning. And right. I, I understand this is one that's kind of known sort of unofficially as a bat wing. This is the bat wing awning. So yeah. one of the great features of the Rhino Rack system is that um, ours includes this bat wing awning. And what really sets the bat wing apart is instead of just having um, you know, a side profile, it's got 270 degrees, Jeff, yeah. of, uh, of coverage. Uh, and they also make, Rhino Rack makes a screen room that fits inside uh, hmm. the, uh, inside the oh. Batwing track here. Oh, okay. So you could really enclose the whole space. Wow. Well, for, for a trailer, an RV that's designed for living around the outside and only sleeping in there, when you're going to be doing your cooking and everything outside, uh, it's nice to have that 270 degrees of coverage. Absolutely. Wow. Very cool. Your Nobo line has something that we don't see on every RV these days. What is this? Is this a... 
It's like a pull out, this is what, an ice chest? That's exactly what it is, Jeff. The yeah. beauty of, of the CFX Dometic Bluetooth cooler is that it's a powered cooler that runs on 12 volt and 110. Okay. And the beauty of this is, is that while you're in transit and it's all closed up, you can control the temperature from your smartphone. Okay, wow, very cool. Well, it looks like a handy device for something where you're going to be living on the outside of the trailer. It absolutely and, and, is. And you got something here, a step or something? What's, what's this all about? Well, one of the beautiful things about the Nobo is that you've got uh, the storage system on the roof. And, okay. And one way to access that storage is with the, our Rhino Rack step as well as our 300 pound weight capacity fenders. So huh. each 10 and 16 series Nobo comes standard with these uh, 300 pound weight rated fenders. 300 pounds, I resemble that remark. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a handy looking little uh, pantry out here. So, wow, so very nice. So you've got the ability to store all of your pantry items outside. You also have a, uh, a full size large dump sink mm -hmm. as well as high pressure spray port that mm -hmm. contains 30 gallons of fresh water. Oh, wow, very nice. Well, it certainly looks like a great rig that's designed for, you know, for living around the outside. And that's what we like to do even with big RVs. Absolutely. So that's it's, cool. It's everything and we need, nothing we don't need. Need some new replacement rubber trim and seals for your RV? Now celebrating their 60th anniversary, Steel Rubber Products has been the leading choice for discerning hot rod and classic car owners for all their rubber parts needs. And now, Steel Rubber Products is offering the same high quality parts and service to RV owners everywhere. For more information on Steel Rubber Products and to get a free RV catalog, visit rv.steelrubber.com. When you have a Truma AquaGo instant hot water system, you can expect to make a lot of new friends. We look around a show like this and we see an awful lot of new products. A lot of them are kind of me too products. And then something comes along that catches your eye and just reaches out and grabs you and says, look at this vehicle. That's the case with this Rugged Mountain RV, the granite interior. On the outside, the truck camper looks like a lot of other truck campers. It has a great smooth fiberglass finish. Uh, it's built with traditional wood framing, um, fiberglass insulation and so on. So a lot of the camper is, you know, kind of, kind of standard on the outside. But when you get inside, it just knocks your eyes out. This interior looks a lot more like something that you would see in a residential house. And it's called the granite interior, and this package is fantastic. You walk inside there and you don't think you're in an RV anymore because <clears throat> the interior, well, first of all, the wall board uses all beadboard that they can paint different colors. And there, there are four different color schemes available. This happens to be the green, and they've got some others for people who don't happen to care much for green. But it has the beadboard, the doors and the cabinets are all solid wood. Uh, stainless steel interior components to give you that, that residential kind of look. Uh, large queen size bed up front. The walls, are, the entire interior is trimmed out with crown molding up there. There's a lot of storage and the, the cabinets and so forth all have this residential type brushed nickel looking uh, hard, hardware. Uh, the bathroom is a dry bath with a separate tub and shower. And it, in general, it just, it, it, it really hits you because it doesn't look like any other RV that we see in a show like this where there are thousands of RVs. So check out the Rugged Mountain Custom RV Granite Model Camper. If you're looking for a truck camper with something that's really different, take a look. It's, 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 it's worth considering. We hope you enjoyed this week's program, and for more information on anything you saw on the show, along with additional videos and stories from current and past shows, visit our website at rollingontv.com. You can also join us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. As usual, this has been another fun production. If you're into RVing or just appreciate vintage vehicles, be sure to set your GPS for the RV MH Hall of Fame in Elkhart, Indiana. This museum houses the largest collection of vintage RVs and trailers dating as far back as 1916. 
more information, visit their website at rvmhhalloffame.org.